how to calculate V from E, okay? And I, I hope you remember the equation that I wrote for you previously, that delta V, which is V final minus V initial, that's the potential between two different points in an electric field, okay, is equal minus integral between I to F E dot ds so this is a this is the equation that you have to use to calculate v from e so you are given e and you do the integration to find the potential you can always use one of the potential uh, vi as your reference so if you use use vi as your reference okay and, and set it to zero okay vi equal to zero then v final will be v okay so v final will be your v which is equal to minus integral between i and f e dot ds okay uh, using don't forget that you are using your vi as your reference so that's how you calculate the potential from the electric field okay now let me apply this concept to uh, how to calculate the potential for a, a point charge for electric potential electric potential for a point charge for a uh, a point charge. We have seen this before, but I just want to uh, show it to you, point charge, in a, a different way. Yeah? Remember uh, the way we defined, uh, remember the way we defined uh, a V, it was U over Q, right? Okay, V at point P, if you remember, it was a K, Q over R. I'm going to show you again how to find this by using, by using this, this concept here. The calculating v from e, okay. So we start from this equation here, okay, delta v minus integral of e dot ds, okay, all right, minus integral between. Uh, so I'm going to, of course, uh, I have to draw before I do this, I'm going to go from uh, I have a charge here plus q, for example, and I'm going to go from a point p. I'm going, I'm coming from to infinity, okay? To infinity. All right? To infinity. So, I'm, and I'm going to calculate uh, delta V here. So, my, my charge Q, uh, my charge Q is going to produce an electric field here, and that electric field is very well known, I know it, and I'm going to, therefore, do my integration. I'm moving in this direction, okay? I'm going to infinity. And this is, my electric field is here like this, and this is my ds, okay? So I'm moving along this line from point P to infinity, okay? And I want to calculate the potential at point P. So my uh, V final minus V initial, so this will be at infinity, V at infinity. And this will be V at point P, okay? That's how we are defining. My final will be when, 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 when I am here, there's no other charge. This is the only charge which is available. Now, I, so I'm moving here, okay? From V at point P to V at infinity. And we know that V at infinity is... Uh, let's calculate. Let's, let's do the calculation here, okay? This is equal minus integral. Of, of course, I'm going to from P to infinity. At, I mean R here, okay? At point P, the distance here is R, okay? I'm going from R to infinity. And what is the electric field at that point due to this charge? is k q over r squared dr, okay? All right? That's, that's the integral of E ds. I am replacing ds by dr, okay? My ds is the same as dr. I can write it like this. It doesn't matter, okay? And the electric field, and the angle between them is what? Is cosine 0, which is 1, okay? There's a cosine here, 0, which is 1, okay? All right. So kq are constant. What is, well, then you have a minus kq, Okay, integral between r and infinity of 1 over r squared dr. Okay, I'm trying my son to find the potential at point P due to this charge. And you know it already, but uh, there's another way. Uh, I'm using this concept to do, to, the, to, do, to do that, okay? So, what is the integral of 1 over r squared? It's minus 1 over r, okay? It cancels this minus sign, so it will be k, q, 1 over r between r and infinity. Okay, so it will be what? It will be kq1 over infinity minus 1 over r. You all agree with me here. Huh? So what is 1 over infinity? It is 0, right? This is 0. 
And what is V? Then, then V, this is, this is V at infinity, which is zero. Then V at infinity here is zero also. And then it's a minus sign, and there's a minus sign. They cancel each other. So V at point P, again, is KQ over R. You see it here? KQ over R. Where R is what? Is the distance between the charge and the point where we want to find the potential. Okay? So this potential here, V at point P, can be positive if Q is positive. And V at point P can be negative if Q is what? Is negative. Be careful, my son. Okay, so it, it has, it's a scalar, okay? This is, I'm going to repeat again, this is a scalar, and the scalar can be positive and negative depending on the sign of the charge. So the sign of the charge is important. You have to put the plus or minus of the charge if it, when it is given to you, okay? So the potential at point P is KQ over R. So my son, you can come here and take a charge Q, okay? And tell me what is the potential here at the distance R. The potential at this point is K, Q over R at point P. If I go to, I put here R1, if I go to a point here, another point here, R2 at uh, uh, point P, and then V, uh, v at point, this will be K, Q over R2. You see that? So if you move away from the charge, the potential decreases. Of course, there's an electric field here, and don't, don't forget, huh? there's an electric field here everywhere. Huh? Okay? Electric field. So, as you move away from a positive charge, the potential decreases because R increases. As you move closer to, to the charge, the potential uh, increases because R is going to decrease. As you, move the as you make the charge larger, the potential increases. As you make it smaller, the potential decreases. And remember that this is, the units of this is what? Is volt, okay? Remember that, huh? Volt, which is joules per coulomb, volt. The potential is a scalar. Don't forget that, my son. Eh? Now, imagine you have, uh, you have a, a system of particles, okay? System. Let's go here, okay? System of particles. What does it mean, system? Now, remember, this is the electric field for a point charge, what we did now. Eh? Now, I have a system of particles, okay? Particles. It means I have more than one. Maybe two, three, four Five charges? I don't know. So uh, uh, I have a charge here. I call it Q1. Another charge here, Q2. Another charge here, Q3. And another charge here, Q4, etc. Okay? And then I want the potential at this point P. Okay? There's one point, one point, P here. And I want the potential at that point. So I need to know the distances. This is R1. This is R4. I need all the distances. There are important distances here. Huh? R2 and R3. And I can calculate the potential at this point. I am very happy here because it's not a vector. So you, you add them algebraically, those potentials. Okay? V at point P will be what? K Q1 over what? Over R1 plus K Q2 over R2 plus K Q3 over R3 plus K Q4 over R4 etc. Okay? I don't know how many charges you have. If you have two, three, four charges, you have to add them algebraically. Be careful, my son. You have to take the sign of the charge here. Eh? If the charge is positive, you put the positive. If the charge is negative, it will be negative. And VP will be either positive or negative, depending on the calculations. So this is how you calculate the potential, uh, electric potential at any point due to uh, a charge distribution uh, system of particles. Okay? Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, and so on. Thank you.